Hey YouTubers, thanks for tuning in to check out part three of my video series on my portable solar generator. I uh, first want to thank all of my subscribers and everyone who has liked my videos and for including them in lists. Very much appreciated. I hope you find this one as useful as the last two. Uh, I'm going to go over some new features and some additions to this system and also try to answer some of the more commonly asked questions that people have posed in the comments sections. Uh, before I go ahead and do that, I just want to remind everybody about safety. These uh, DC systems can be dangerous, so please use discretion. Um, please be advised, I'm not a professional. I've done a lot of reading, talked with a lot of people, and certainly watched uh, a good many YouTube videos on this topic. But again, proceed at your own risk. Please use caution when you are working on or building these systems. I um, want to talk about some additions to the system. Uh, I'm going to take you around to the back side and just show you one change that I made uh, based on uh, what I felt was an inefficiency. You might remember that early on I had a um, place to plug in this AC battery maintainer and float charger. Uh, it has an SAE 2-pin connection and I had initially had a place where that uh, connection had come through the back of the case. I didn't really like the way that worked out, so what I did was install a second SAE 2-pin port, which you'll see here, and that allows me to plug that uh, directly in, and it's a much nicer configuration, much neater, cleaner. Uh, so that's one addition I made over the last couple of months. I'm gonna take you to the inside of the case again, point out a couple of different features. One thing that uh, you should always remember is to keep all of your documentation and some spare fuses on hand. Uh, I keep them in this envelope that is attached to the underside of the top of the case for use in the future. Some folks had uh, complimented me on how uh, professional and how finished this system look and I uh, appreciate that. I did take some time to make another improvement to this top tray. What you're going to see around the edge of this is some automotive rubber stripping if you will it's a uh, finishing project or product i should say for uh, use in automotive but that made a nice uh, finishing seal around this deck again to kind of separate the battery compartment from the upper tray um, some other things to point out is uh, in terms of finishing i made use of a lot of rubber grommets when i uh, cut my holes for this deck to keep the wiring nice and neat Rubber grommets were used to pass through uh, the wiring from the inverter, for example, and from the charge controller. So again, that ad, uh, added to a nice finished appearance. Let's go to the inside of the case again. A lot of people have asked questions about how this inverter is attached to the outlet box for the AC outlet and uh, how specifically the current transformer is attached so that the um, voltmeter, the AC voltmeter or ammeter if you will, can read um, how many volts and amps are being used from the system. So the first thing you need to know is that uh, this particular cord was is simply a length of uh, of some uh, extension cord material you can buy in bulk from your local hardware store. And I purchased this male plug-in. So again, what we're dealing with is essentially a length of cord that looks like this. It is simply stripped off. You add the uh, plug to this end, if you will, to uh, this cord. What happens next, and we're gonna take this apart, get back inside the case is that uh, this cord then goes down into the shallow box and uh, what you've done is stripped off again those cords you're attaching the black to negative on the terminal in that shallow box and uh, the white to the positive before i attach the white to the positive what i did was take a length of wire that has a fuse and that fuse is right here hopefully you can see that and that is attached to the positive terminal on that outlet but before it is attached there you'll see deep down in here this is the ct terminal it's a donut shaped i'm sorry it's a it's a current transformer not a terminal but this uh ct or current transformer is donut shaped and this positive wire passes through it and that is how the ammeter again reads the current that's flowing from the inverter down through that shallow box and the AC outlet. 
A couple other questions people have asked is what would I change about this system or how can I maximize it? Um, just in case you're wondering, there is room to add a third battery in here. Recall that there are two 55 amp hour batteries for a total of 110 amp hours and that uh, this mark right here on this stick shows me the width of that battery and you can clearly see that you could easily put a third battery into this system making a total of 165 amp hours. Uh, it would make the box quite heavy but it will fit. You have to move some of the wiring around to make that happen but it is definitely doable. Um, one thing I want to show you is how we uh, wired very simply the remote battery terminals that are on the front of the case and also wired up the heavy duty jumper terminals that are there. And I'll just show you where those are located here. You'll see that there is a jumper that runs between the bulkhead terminal and then below that is the remote jumper terminal with those heavy duty, heavy duty terminals on the outside. They're jumper together, but the heaviest of the wiring is attached directly to that remote jumper, and that is because uh, the greatest amount of voltage and amperage will be drawn through that cable uh, to deliver a jump to the boat motor if was necessary. Same on this side, you'll see that again there's the jumper that runs between the bulkhead terminal and below it is that heavy duty remote jumper terminal. And again, you'll see at the very bottom with the uh, yellow on red, there is the heaviest of the cords that will allow, uh, again, the highest amperage and voltage to be drawn directly to that terminal to provide a jump start for the boat. So I hope that answers some of the, the questions that people have had about how this system was devised. Again, I wanna thank everybody for your subscriptions and for your likes. And if you are continuing work on these types of projects, please do post what you come up with because I and many others are definitely benefiting from the knowledge that's being shared freely here on YouTube. Thanks again for having a look and take care.